the bank of america customized cash reward credit card now this video is going to be a complete overview i'm going to show you everything you need to know about this card including the fees the apr the bonuses and all of that good stuff so if you are interested in learning more about this card then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch okay so if we jump right into this you can see that the opening offer that they give us is 200 dollars online cash reward bonus now on top of this you can also earn three percent cash back in the category of your choice two percent cash back at grocery stores and wholesale clubs and one percent cash back on all other purchases you can also see below for the details on quarterly maximums and if you are a little bit confused about this guys don't worry because this is all going to be discussed down here so first of all if we come to the card details this, this is basically going to break down all of this that we just read up here so in the card details section, this says earn cash back your way, choose your 3% category. So you can choose to get 3% cash back in the category of your choice, including gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drugstores, or home improvement slash furnishings. So you, you probably want to tally up right here and figure out which of these categories you actually spend the most money on. I mean, for most people, it's probably going to be gas or online shopping, but you can basically figure out which of these categories you spend the most on per year and then opt into the 3% cashback in this category. We also get 2% cashback at grocery stores and wholesale clubs, which is pretty cool. And then 1% cashback on all other purchases. Now, on top of this, you can earn 3% and 2% cashback on the first $2,500 in combined choice category slash grocery stores and wholesale club purchases in each quarter, then earn 1%. So what this means, guys, is although we get 3% and 2% cash back in these different areas, that is only applicable for the first $2,500 you spend in each quarter. And then after that, it just drops down to the standard 1%. Now, I mean, this is going to be pretty sustainable for most people. It's going to allow you to spend $10,000 a year in these categories before we drop down to the 1%. So, I mean, for the vast majority of your spendings for most people, they are going to be included in these categories. Now, over here, we also see the second bonus, which is $200 online cash rewards. So this is you can earn $200 in cash rewards bonus after making at least $1,000 in purchases in the first 90 days or three months of opening your account. Now, once again, this is pretty easy to do. This is spending like $350 per month, which is pretty achievable for most people. As I say, it's, it, you don't have to do this, it is just an option, but if you're going to be spending money anyway, why not claim a $200 online bonus with this credit card? Now, coming down a little bit further, we can see the low introductory APR offer. So this is a 0% low intro APR, which is effectively the interest that you are going to pay if you miss payments. For your first 18 billing cycles for purchases and for any balance transfers made within the first 60 days of opening your account. So <laughs> this is a little bit confusing. And effectively, guys, what this means for the 0% APR is any purchases that you make within the first 60 days of opening your account you are not going to be charged interest on these purchases for the first 18 months now that is a little bit confusing guys but what i always say about these kind of offers is in my opinion uh, they're a little bit of a sneaky way to kind of get you used to not paying off your interest and then as soon as that billing cycle is up they just slap you with an interest and that is how they make money so what i would recommend doing guys is although they have this APR interest offer on and it sounds tempting, like don't get sucked into it. Just pay off your regular, just pay off everything at the end of the month like you would and keep your credit score nice and strong. Uh, they also said that after the intro APR ends, a variable APR, which is currently between 16.24 and 26.24% will apply. And this is a roundabout average. The better your credit score is, the lower your APR is going to be. But as I say, guys, a roundabout average so nothing too crazy there now this card does not include any sort of annual fee so <laughs> at least they make that nice and simple you don't have to pay any fees annually and then we also have the get more rewards section which allows preferred reward members to earn between 25 and 75 percent more cash back in every purchase that means the three percent choice category could go up to 5.25 percent 
and the 2% at grocery stores and wholesale clubs could go up to 3.5%. Now, if we go into the preferred rewards and see what this is actually about, now we can see if we take a look down here, there are three tiers in the preferred rewards program, gold, platinum and platinum honours. Your tier is based on your qualifying combined balances in your Bank of America deposit and your Merrill investment account. So effectively guys, if you have bank accounts and Merrill investment accounts with Bank of America, that is where you are going to grab uh, these preferred rewards. You can see that in the gold section, this is from 20,000 up to $50,000. Platinum is 50,000 up to 100,000. And then Platinum Honors is all the way from 100,000 up to a million. Uh, and for some people, you are going to grab these preferred rewards. Uh, other people, if you don't have Merrill accounts or a Bank of America account, you're not going to get access to this. Now, apart from that, we have basically covered all of this. We've covered the introductory APR, the standard APR, the annual fee, and everything like that. Uh, we've also covered the cashback and rewards that you can earn. And then down here, guys, this is actually pretty cool. You can see that you can actually calculate how much you are going to earn based on how much you spend. So let's say that in your preferred category, you might go with gas. And let's imagine you spend $400 a month on gas. Uh, earn 2% 2, 2 at grocery stores and wholesale clubs. Let's say you spend $600 a month at grocery stores. And then in other areas, you also spend... Oh, okay, so th sorry, this is yearly, not monthly. So let's switch this up from 400 to 4,800, just like this. 600 to... 7.2 thousand and then let's say for the rest of the year you're going to spend ten thousand dollars on other purchases now i'm keeping this pretty low down guys and i'm pretty sure this is affordable for most people i'm being pretty conservative with this but we can see your cashback rewards after spending this amount per year is going to be 368 dollars which as i say that's not crazy that's not groundbreaking but it is pretty nice to get back as a cashback at the end of the year. Now, if you are a preferred reward member, you can see that you get a little bit extra in each section, so you can earn more if you do have access to this, but as I said, this is not for everyone. Now, coming down to the security and features section, we can see we get things like uh, blocking potential fraud if abnormal patterns are detected, uh, plus you'll always get a $0 liability guarantee for fraudulent transactions, a balance connect for overdraft limit, so this is an optional service to help prevent declined purchases, returns checks or other overdrafts when you link your eligible Bank of America checking account to your credit card, a digital wallet technology, so this is effectively you can use your Bank of America credit card on Apple Pay and Google Pay, uh, account alerts, which is pretty self-explanatory, contactless payments, which <laughs> I think if there was a credit card nowadays that didn't have contactless payments, that would be crazy, a uh, paperless statement options, online and mobile banking, which once again, pretty uh, pretty expected nowadays. And you also get access to your FICO score, which is updated monthly for free. But guys, that is basically everything you need to know about the Bank of America customized cash reward credit card. If you want to apply, just click on this apply button. Uh, you can go through and basically apply for this card. So if you guys learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.